Good evening, everyone. I'm Liz Bishop. Greg has the night off. Police made quick work of a larceny case that nearly broke the heart of a 99-year-old World, World War II veteran. Greg Smith met the victim and one of the officers who helped recover the vet's precious ATV. Yeah, Liz, William Capreri holds two things dear, baseball and his sense of independence. For a few hours today, he thought one of them was gone for good. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? Yeah, I'm headed across the sky there. Caprari's niece says he gets upset when he can't find a Cardinals game, but he was really steamed when the landlord noticed Caprari's 87 Suzuki was gone. He doesn't drive anymore, so just the fact that his wheels were in his garage, you know, meant a whole lot to him. Well, I got it back. I'm happy about that. He was 25 when he was drafted two months after Pearl Harbor. He went to Burma, drove a truck. For 26 years, he drove for the state plowed the Mohawk Trail, Route 2, and he plowed local streets with the Suzuki. The sidewalks are not very well um, plowed sometimes in the, in the winter, you know, for the kids to walk on. Sometimes everything just lines up just right. Police put a notice on Facebook and got a tip. Someone said the thief had sold the Suzuki for 50 bucks. The case will be closed in the, in the very near future. Um, we have a suspect. Um, Absolutely, we know who it is. Uh, so charges are coming. Charges are coming. He was actually really sick for quite some time this past winter, and um, he's had an amazing recovery. The minute the baseball went off, he got ill, and the minute it, it came back on, he seems to be doing a lot better. So I think that had something to do with it. Uh, he got his wheels back, but not the plow that was attached to it. Sergeant Jason Wood said the thief knows Caprera. He didn't say how. And by the way, Capri turns 100 on December 1st. Liz?